This Giving Tuesday, nonprofits like the American Red Cross are asking for your donation. The organization responds to everything from house fires to floods and tornadoes. And the man in charge of overseeing how the Red Cross responds in the U.S. talked with our Sally Hernandez and gave her an in-depth look at the cost of disasters. Brad Kaiserman, you're the Vice President of Disaster Operations and Logistics with the National Red Cross. So I'm going to ask you, what have you been seeing as far as disasters across the country? Are they going up or going down? The United is experiencing what we call acute to chronic. And this is a phenomenon where 40 years ago, we were experiencing three really big disasters a year. What's a really big disaster? A really big disaster is one where the insured loss is a billion, with a B, a billion dollars or more. So 1980, three a year. 2022, 15 so far and still counting. On average for the last five years, $18 billion disasters a year. So we have gone from a place where disasters were an acute feature of American life to a place where they are now a chronic feature of American life. And that means we are in a near continuous response phase. And it means that families are under near continuous threat. Yeah, that includes us right here in Central Texas. It wasn't too long ago when we had a disaster declaration because of some tornadoes that tore through some communities here in Central Texas. I'll tell you. Over the last 10 years, more than 90% of counties in the United States have received a major disaster declaration from the federal government, 90% of counties. So I, I'll tell you that if, if you have not yet personally experienced a disaster or know someone who's personally experienced a major disaster, it's just a matter of time at this point. Wow, so with that in mind, um... I know this Giving Tuesday, you're asking people to donate, donate their time, um, donate blood, you say uh, it's always needed during a disaster, and of course, donate any kind of money. But what can you tell us as far as how the money is spent when you donate to the Red Cross? $2, that $2 provides an hour of care and services for one person in an emergency shelter. $200, that is shelter care and feeding for 24 hours for a family of four. So by going to redcross.org, you can really help people who have been badly impacted by disasters. Great information. You can always go to our website, kxan.com, and we'll link you over to the Red Cross's website. Thanks again, Brad.